Ladies and gentlemen, popular Fallout and general gaming YouTuber Oxhorn is a channel that has fallen off into obscurity in the last few years. However, this channel has an interesting and storied past. Whilst multiple accusations have been laid against Oxhorn in the years preceding 2018, I feel that there is one inexcusable offence committed by this channel, a particularly vile act that does not sit well with the YouTube community. False flagging and false copyright claims. This video contains content from Gorilla, who has blocked it on copyright goals. What the hell is that? False flags and copyright strikes to take down critical videos that hold him accountable for his errors. Several channels who made critical videos on Oxhorn pre-2018 found their channels struck for various reasons. Harassment, copyright reasons, being too long was another weird one. However, these channels were simply calling Oxhorn out on his views towards certain social factors, as well as calling him out on his errors in his Fallout lore videos. A YouTuber who came to prominence was a YouTuber by the name of Logical Fallacy. Logical Fallacy managed to get the visibility of several YouTubers and managed to create a community united in solidarity against the copyright abuse and false flagging committed by Oxhorn. Amongst many others, some of the most prominent members of this community were Shitlord Builds, who would later go on to rename himself SLB Productions, Rogue Internet Man, Combat Wombat, and TKS Mantis. They formed a group which would later go on to be known as The Otclave, a name coined by a Kiwi Farms user. This became the name adopted by this corner of the YouTube commentary and Fallout communities, a name adopted in the wake of Oxhorn's attacks upon free speech, attacks that would be proven in conversations between YouTube and a T-channel by the name of The Right Opinion. He was given a community strike for bullying, which is rather bizarre. What is even stranger is then that his channel was taken down despite supposedly not having any additional content on the matter, and with Logical receiving no further information than these emails, which attributed the removal to Oxhorn's complaints. Now it seems strange to me, personally, that YouTube would actually disclose the plaintiff. So I sought verification of this. Now I did speak to Logical to see if he still had a copy of the email, which he said he didn't. But not deterred, I decided to reach out to YouTube and although they were hesitant at first, once I told them I had permission from the owner and it was pretty much all public, they did confirm it was legit, so... Link to their video on the matter in the description section down below, well worth a watch. But whatever happened to this community, the Otclave, perhaps the most mysterious fate of them all, is the sudden disappearance of SLB Productions, his channel simply gone. Over the last few years, as well as performing live streams, SLB has produced brilliant and well-researched documentary videos on multiple subjects. Videos covering various internet lol cows and personalities, through to a very strong series of whatever happened to various pre-Oxhorn Fallout lore masters, Enthapple, Mr. Caption, Shoddycast, as well as political content firmly based in the recent troubles within the US. SLB would cover these matters in a wonderful, witty, comedic, charismatic style. I have heard that he may be going through some health issues at the moment. I sincerely hope that he is okay and that he will return to YouTube someday. The internet has its own Ten Commandments, and number one is thou shall not flag videos that are clearly fair use. Thankfully, it appears that much of his content has been archived by other channels. Multiple videos seeming to be scattered across multiple channels on YouTube. A simple YouTube search will surface most of his past content. This brings us on to our second YouTuber that I'd like to talk about. This YouTuber has recently dropped off the face of the platform. He goes by the name of Rogue Internet Man. Rogue himself would go on to say that he didn't really care about the Oxhorn drama and took down his Oxhorn videos. I removed most of mine because they were pretty shitty. I didn't really care for them. In fact, I got a takedown request on my original one. I really didn't want to be in the drama afterwards because it didn't work. It wasn't funny. And then he would later go through a full-scale channel rebrand, 
focusing on internet lol cows, oddities and other personalities after finding a solid foundation in covering Christian Weston Chandler, also known as Chris Chen. Hey Sachi Medallion! Rogue's larger than life character based live streams would go on to become a magnificent spectacle which would draw in thousands of subscribers as well as drawing in hundreds of dollars in donations per stream. However, unfortunately, this was all to change in mid-2022. The rogue internet phenomenon would come to a rather unceremonious end. Apparently a dox of Rogue and his family had began to circulate, and Rogue decided that he was done. He deactivated his social medias and his YouTube channel. He no longer wishes to be rogue internet man, and he has brought this saga of his life to an end. I want to live a private and quiet life away from the broader internet. The rogue content and business is over and I have no intentions of returning to it. It was a one-shot deal and that shot has been made. After all is said and done, I just want to live a normal life. The rogue content is finished. I have no intentions of returning to the character. I do not want to be rogue anymore and I regret even having started participating in the YouTube business. I'm thankful to everyone who was engaged with the content and enjoyed what I put out. I'm sorry how everything ended as it certainly isn't how I hoped everything would end but I'm glad that some people were able to get something out of what I did. Many people have reached out to me over the years thanking me for entertaining them when their life was difficult and wanting to tell me that they liked my content. The amount of support always blew me away and I am thankful for the genuine bonds I was lucky enough to form with those who were closest to me. Thank you all for everything. I hope this makes sense. Personally, I viewed Rogue as a form of a regulator. His content and streams exposed and gave a negative visibility to a number of bad actors on the platform of YouTube. With the closure of Rogue's channel, these bad actors now have the room and the space to thrive like bacteria or insects without a vector to spread the news of their bad actions. I sincerely hope that Rogue is able to find peace and stability in his life. I will link the archive of his final upload in the description section down below. I cared about the principle of Oxhorn being a piece of shit. He shouldn't get away with hurting people like he did. And it wasn't about the interest of other people. I just thought it'd be funny to go after Oxhorn because he's a bad person. Combat Wombat is a YouTuber who made satirical comedy commentary videos on YouTube drama and gaming industry news. So we've got a big problem with copyright strikes on YouTube. I can't go one day without seeing some poopy head striking down somebody's video. Whilst a lot of his Oxhorn content has been lost to time, in mid-2022 Combat Wombat has announced that he is simply no longer interested in commentary-based content and is feeling burnt out. He has opened a new channel with presumably different content. He would take to Twitter with the following statement in regard to his channel. I think you all deserve some explanation about what's going on with the channel. I have been burnt out for a while making videos, mostly just from losing interest in the type of content I've been producing. I just don't find it enjoyable anymore. My main passion on YouTube is honestly just playing video games and joking around, and sometimes making commentary videos on gaming shit. I've been uploading to a different channel and growing it slowly, and having a lot more fun making videos for it. I don't want to link the channel here and send a lot of traffic to it, because quite frankly, I don't think my audience on this channel is into that type of content, and I don't want to gain subs that aren't going to end up watching. This channel will remain up as an archive of my stuff. I won't delete it, but I don't think I plan on uploading here anymore. If you find my other channel through searching for it and enjoy what you see and want to subscribe, that's awesome. I just don't want to send a ton of traffic that way and end up gaining inactive subscribers. Hope you understand. Thanks for the support over the years. It was an amazing experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I think all we can do is wish him luck in his future endeavours. Through it all, the TKS Mantis channel has remained open for business. Mantis sought to distance himself from the Oxhorn situation over the years as he builds his channel into a legitimate, respectable YouTube business. His channel, now focusing on quick, sharp, one-minute fallout fact-based videos that have garnered him a great deal of success in recent years. Logical Fallacy has began again, and now styles himself as Father Elijah. In the words of Father Elijah, begin again. 
his channel focusing on lower elements of Fallout 3 in New Vegas, as well as responses to overly positive Fallout reviews through the lens of sober second thought. He is also an occasional guest on a live stream called Suffering Through Abject Garbage, or STAG for short, alongside its host Cretosis. The link's in the description section. I didn't expect this YouTube channel to last as long as it has. I thought I was going to end up terminated within days or perhaps only hours of uploading the first video. I figured since it happened to my old account, it was certain to happen this time as well. But that's not how the cookie crumbled. I didn't expect to still be here in the year 2021. Hell, I thought I'd be gone before the end of 2018. Don't ask me why YouTube didn't terminate this account. I have no clue why they do or don't do anything. I just know there's no consistency or rhyme or reason behind it. There's a lot of things I'd have done differently if I had it to do over again, but there's no changing what's been done. The only thing you can do is begin again. I find it fascinating that the YouTube community acts in a self-regulatory manner, calling out abuse of the flagging and copyright systems and forming communities of help and support for the victims um. of larger channels who view themselves as above the rules. Oxhorn's notoriety is cemented in people's hearts and minds thanks to the multiple videos which have now been archived on YouTube and off YouTube. A simple YouTube um. search will surface much of this content. If you'd like to know more about the Oxhorn case, would you like to know more? I thoroughly recommend giving the Right Opinions video a watch and forming your own right opinion on the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Stu Dog, and I'll catch you next time. See ya! Uh. Okay.